Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to my latest gaming obsession. We're playing some more Shrouded tonight, continuing our adventure and exploring a bit more. Still got that cop. Yeah, I thought I thought it was muted. <laughs> I, went, I went to unmute myself, and I was like, ah, oh, crap. It's already unmuted. It's always something going wrong. Uh, we're headed out to the plains again tonight. We got out there before, the last time we played, uh, all the way out to the east. We got the uh, the blacksmith tools, I think, were out there. We got something for somebody out there. I think it was the, the delivery for the blacksmith. Uh, but there's still some other points of interest out there we want to check out. Some other areas we just haven't seen. Uh, I'm sure there's still some resources we haven't found. I think there's, like, iron at some point we can get. I want to be able to make... I don't know if we make, like, iron tools or steel stuff or whatever, but uh, there's things out there. And stuff. <laughs> so we're going to head out that way today and do a little exploring, maybe see what other things we can craft uh, to try to improve on our gear again some more so we're a little bit better equipped for some of the dangers that might be present out there. Uh, but welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far. If you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, a huge thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. Thank you all very, very much for the support. It's greatly appreciated. And a special thanks to uh, all those top tier Mistakes Are Made members for choosing that top tier option. Nate streaming tonight too. Yeah, I popped into Nate stream for a little while because I saw he was playing. He's got uh, he's got the whole crew doing some multiplayer gameplay. They're just starting out, so they uh, they're the the beginning of the learning process. <laughs> Hearts of Iron. You got what it takes, Flameborn. I'll let you in on something. The best iron ore can be gathered at Ridgeback Mine, deep below the shroud. Don't fret. With a high enough shroud passage level, it shouldn't stop you. Well, I actually don't know if my shroud passage level is high enough because I don't know what it maxes out at. But that's fun. Uh, I was uh, working on making some uh, some bronze. Uh, you may not have noticed here, but in the bottom of my inventory here, I've got uh, I have the bronze axe and the bronze pickaxe, so that I have those to gather better resources with. Uh, I'd like to make some of the bronze armor and stuff too, but I think there's actually some other things I need. Like I'm pretty sure I need more linen and stuff, possibly. Darcy Lynn with a super chat. Yay! And shrouded and waiting all day. Thanks for the uh, the super chat, Darcy Lynn. Yeah, this is my latest obsession. I'm definitely enjoying it. Uh, I'm leaning towards making the mercenary set. Now, I could make the helmet, but I have to get leather, which I can't make yet. I, there's something I have to get for the hunter, I think, in order to, uh, to be able to make leather. Uh, bronze bars I have in progress, uh, but we can make the helmet, I guess. That might be a start. Strike while the iron's hot. Slap that on our head and see what it looks like. Oh. I can't even see my face anymore. Aw, my chops. You can't see my chops. It is a better helmet, though. Oh, or is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this helmet is going to give me 14% melee critical strike chance, plus 11% critical strike damage, both of which are kind of nice. Uh, and it's an improvement over the adventurer's helmet. Plus, you don't have to look at my guy's ugly mug, although I miss his chops already. I'm not even going to keep this other helmet because there's just no point. There's no, like, armor stand, so I can't put, like, decorative things in. I hope they add them at some point because you end up with a whole lot of equipment you really can't use. Uh, it would be really wonderful if you could, like, just... Some of it would be nice to display places, like that cool armor set that we got that I I should, I should actually check out and see what it looks like. Um, we got this cool armor when we were in uh, Pike Mead's Reach, but I'm never going to use it because it's got some pretty harsh negative effects when you're in the Shroud, so... It'd be nice if I could at least put it on display and enjoy it, even if I'm not wearing it. Um, tin ore, wood, I got bandages. I should actually cook that food up. Um, so we got that. Oh wait, I can just slap that in here. I finally smartened up. I stopped cooking things manually on the fire, and now I just let this do it all on its own. Imagine that, I learned a thing. I learned something today. 
bandages. Uh, I'm not going to take the water with me because uh, I'm not really using that as a buff anymore. Instead, I'm using chamomile tea. We, uh, we were working on unlocking some additional recipes here, too, or at least getting the ingredients for it. So there is... Uh, oh, no, it's not here. It's actually with the farmer lady. There's this chicken soup recipe that I really wanted to make. Chicken soup, but I need the almanac of plants and seedlings, so I can't make it yet anyway. Uh, same thing with the sugar. Yeah, all the good stuff I can't make right now. I can make the uh, the tea at least. I gotta get an oven so we can make the mushroom omelet. Oh, excuse me. Mushroom omelet. Boiled eggs I guess I could make. We could just make those in the fireplace. Challenge here being that uh, the health regeneration and stuff and stamina regeneration we get from some of the other foods is already better. That one just has it all bundled in one. Hey Ramon, how you doing? Is there an option to hide the helmet if you want? Uh, you know, I don't know. I can hide UI, but I don't think there's an option to hide the helmet. Unless it's in, the, it'd be in the display settings, I would think. Uh, I don't think so though. I don't recall seeing one. Nope. Nothing there. That's okay. It's kind of a cool looking helmet. I mean, I don't need to see my chops, I guess. Um, here's the uh, the tin that I was crafting. I've got copper bars in here. Uh, it's still working on tin. I, I gathered up a whole bunch of tin. So I'm just going to let that do its thing. We'll smelt up those bars. Um, I might as well put this in here too, I guess. This can go in here so we can make some more fancy charcoal. I'm sure we'll need that too. Oh, and I, I should probably make sure I have arrows before I leave. Just knowing me, I'm gonna forget. Might be in the character window? Uh, maybe. Nah, you can like equip stuff, but there's no like checkbox here to like not display things. It's okay. I'm good with it. Like I said, the helmet's kind of cool looking, so. It's not the end of the world. Nope, not there. I gotta go arrow lady. I want to be able to make use bronze arrows, but I just... The bronze is kind of expensive to make right now. So... I'm not gonna do that. Oh! I got fossilized bone! I figured out where to get it, so I can make fossilized bone arrows, and those will be even better than the other arrows, because they do like six... Uh, what are they? 17 damage. That's an improvement over the, uh, the things. And fossil and the uh, fossilized bones actually easy to get. Feathers are probably going to be the limiting factor here. But we'll make a hundred of those. Oh, Fire some here? fossilized bones. We've got the big patch which reduces the amount of tin needed. Uh, yeah, probably actually. So let me just check check the recipes here. So bronze bars now require. So three, it's still three tin, uh, sorry, three tin and seven copper, and then tin bars are now 15 instead of 20. So they lowered it by five. Used to be 15 tin to one, um, to one batch of bars, so you get three bars. Now it's, uh, or sorry, 20, 20 to get one batch of three, now it's 15 to get a batch of three. So a little bit cheaper. Save us some effort anyway. Okay, we need to find stuff. Also some things. Uh, the Black Cauldron I'm not super worried about. I need a tanning station I would like to get so we can make that leather. Uh, there's some stuff close by too that I haven't tackled that I probably should. Like the, the story of Rot. I'm going to do that one first, I think. Let's set that one active. Show it on the map. It's over here. It's actually not that far away. Relative to where we were, because we were like way over here in the east. Oops, sorry, let me turn off replay buffer so that we don't lag too bad on the map. Good old map lag. Nothing beeps map lag. Um, I can go here. That's probably the shortest route to get there. Or we could land here and fly, but I don't think we'll make it all the way because the map's pretty big. I'll go here. Used to be one bar instead of three. Yeah, so it was... Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it was 20 tin for one bar. Now it's 15 tin for three bars. So that has, that is a pretty significant change. I can't complain about that. Whee. 
looking forward to getting the next uh, the next tier up of the glider too. That'll be fun. Even more forward forward propulsion going. Uh, I'm gonna go up to the castle and try to fly from up here. I got this thing waypointed too. Man, YouTube really doesn't like when I open up that map. It's crazy. I've never seen a game get impacted that much by the map. Uh, Alright, I need food in me. Put some food in my face hole. Hey, Paul, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Oh, sure, now they lower it. Yeah, after you already spent all that time, huh, Chris? <laughs> Banzai! I don't know how far out this thing is. It's, it's pretty far. We might not be able to fly all the way there. It's going to be in the shroud. I'm just not really sure where. There sounds a little lift. That's funny. That lift boost doesn't really seem to add all that much distance on. It's, it's handy for getting up to higher places when you need to, like, raise up where you're flying, but you kind of drop pretty steeply, so... It certainly adds distance, but it's not like a crazy amount of distance. That was the wrong thing. There we go. Oh, jeez. I don't want really downhill there. Tried to run in a straight line, he went sideways. Hey, we're here. Well, close to here, anyway. Oh, it's not even down in the shroud. It's up on the ridge over there. But we found Netherton. Which is a town deep down in the nether, I guess. <laughs> I'll come to Netherton. Oh, jeez! I came through the opening. These guys are pretty low level. I, I probably should have done this quest some, quite some time ago. We're gonna knock it out just to get it taken care of. Uh, I don't really expect to get a good quest reward out of this. But we'll progress the story at least. Do you like the game The Last of Us Part 1 and 2? I played The Last of Us Part 1, it was quite good. Um, I don't have a PlayStation, so I haven't played The Last of Us Part 2, although I hear it's supposed to be coming out on PC. Uh, so I haven't tried Part 2 yet. Last of Us didn't really do particularly well on my channel, though, so I, I don't I don't know whether I'll play Part 2 or not on the channel. I kind of... I played a bunch of story-based games over a span of, like, I don't know, like a month or so. And my, uh, my view traffic really took a hard hit. Didn't miss much, no. No, just started. here. Any loot I get here is just going to be rune fodder. I'm just not going to need it. Okay, I've got to get up on that ridge up there. That's, uh, that's a nuisance. Probably gonna have to go along to the west, or maybe we can go to the east and see what's over there, because there's there's another question mark thing over there. Might be something over there. Oh, there is a road here too. Oh. What have we got here? Ruin has come to our family. I've worked tirelessly for so long. I was the last to stay and try to hold on to anything. Dear grandfather, I was a fool. I can't save the home you once built by hand. Fumes from the river make the stones brittle. My bones decay. Deep sorrow has crept inside me. I've att it's attached to my spine, convulsing in my ribcage. I must sit, rest, only a moment of respite. That sounds uncomfortable. Hey, more enshrouded. Yeah, I like enshrouded. 
it gives me a lot of the same vibes that I got when I played Valheim initially. You know, that sense of exploration, unlocking things. Fun bits of discovery and adventure. Building and stuff. An interesting world to play around in. It's all good. Navigate the Syracuse with a super chat. I lost 25 pounds in a week. Being sick sucks. How's your week going? 25 pounds in a week? Good lord. Pretty sure that's not healthy. Hope you feel better soon. Being, being sick does suck. Can't loot this thing. Can I loot it? Now I can. Well, I got most of my time back. I didn't. I, I don't think that worked entirely. I might have moved out of it a little bit. Huge new world to be a loot goblin in. That's right. All the loot goblining. So much loot goblining. What is this? Why is it glowy red? Roughly cut stone block. Oh, really? I should. Oh, I could have got these a while ago. I'm a slacker. Okay. More building material options. That's cool. Uh, I cannot get up there, I do not think. I'm gonna try, but I don't think I can. Nope, nope. <laughs> it doesn't lift me up high enough. <laughs> I hoping I could, like, get enough of a lift up. Oh, boy! Okay, there's a drop there, just for the record. And a gold chest. Wildwood shortbow, level 5. Obviously, not any good. <laughs> Flew right over that thing, I didn't even notice. I could dig upwards, but I'm just going to try to look for a way to, to, like, find a path up. There is a roadway down here, so there might actually be a path that just leads upward. No sense spending my time digging through the side of a cliff if I don't need to. Ow. That guy hit me. I didn't like it. Always loot everything not nailed down. The loot everything that is nailed down. Yeah, and then you have to smash the stuff that's nailed down so you can loot that too. <laughs> I can see the red stuff down there, so I don't really want to go way down there, but I'm curious. Unfortunately, curiosity often kills the fox. Not just the cat. Sounds like a land bridge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like find a spot that's slippery and like slide down into that. I don't probably shouldn't play around down here. Step in it, yeah. I'll get right on that. Okay, that other stuff is up on the ridge up there too. Okay, so we got a, a few things up top I gotta get to. We might have some thinning shroud here. We'll be out of it in no time. Victory is ours! Score one for the good guys, and also cryptic. Let's see about like the large Valheim RPG mod that's about to be released. Yeah, I haven't really done much uh, modded stuff in Valheim. There's, uh, I've been waiting for the the next island to come out or the next the next biome for Valheim to come out. But the unfortunate thing with Valheim is it um, got hugely popular on release. It was a lot of fun, tons of stuff to do. Um, but the other updates have been such like, they've been so slow coming that like a lot of people I think kind of gravitate away from the game and then have to come back to it. Not that I'm suggesting doing uh, game updates is easy or adding all kinds of new content. It's kind of the nature of the beast, I think. With so many games coming out, it's hard sometimes to circle back to other games. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth demo was insane but short lived. Guess I'll crash here for a change. Alright, well, welcome. Final Fantasy VII. I mean, I haven't played a Final Fantasy game in so long. What 
do they have road, like, literally on the side of that cliff? <laughs> That's weird. Like there was a cataclysm, an earthquake or something, like, lifted the road up, stuck it there sideways. Stella with a uh, 24 month member message. Hey, hope all's good. Just got a new nice number beside my name. Two years today. Well, thank you for the two years of support. That's incredible. It feels so weird to me to have members that have been here for years. All the, all the time is kind of flowing together. Time marches on, etc. I love how with this bug, it looks like I'm just blocking with my arm. <laughs> I can stop an axe with my arm, no problem. Final Fantasy VII Remake, Remaster Part Two, Re Remake, Remake and Remaster. Oh my goodness! What is it? Hillock. Welcome to Hillock. I don't know what we were supposed to do here. I had a quest, I think, to go here. Uh oh. Now these guys. Another message. Sudden slaughter. I should have been awake. I wasn't. They stormed our camp at night with unforeseen ferocity. Their fur coats were mottled with uh, garnet flecks, now fading to matted rust. We crossed into their new territory, but have my brothers and sisters gone? Absinthe, foul wormwood licorice. The coating vile and bitter, numbing my lips. I fought for them. I raised my axe for them. My armor ripped away. My hands forever stained red. Should have never passed through that VUCA area. Or VUCA arena. Mother, please don't lose hope in me. We share the same blood. I will persevere for them. I'll never fail again. Oh, Jasmine got plastered. Couldn't do the job. Frozen core wand. Level 9. Oh, it's dark out here. Is there a bed in here? No. <laughs> of course there's no mattress on this bed. Why would there be? I need a bed so we can sleep, sleep and make it daytime. I get a little bit of light from that axe, but it's not really enough to see by. Right, jerk. You dirty rat. Oh, there's a basement here we haven't checked. Probably more rats down here. Oh, jeez! <laughs> this got down there just before the explosions. <laughs> Perfect timing. What am I building my epic village? I don't know. I, I, I probably... I don't know if I'm going to go with the whole, like, village concept. Uh, I might make a floating island with, like, a wizard tower kind of thing on it. I'll have to see. The trouble is that I also have... Uh, there's other games coming up that I'm going to want to play to put time into also. That's going to be tricky. I'm, I'm like... Trying to play as much in Shrouders as I can because I know my time is going to be divided soon. Between like uh, Nightingale, which comes out now on the 20th instead of the 22nd, they're launching two days early. Pacific Drive comes out, uh, and I think I, I think I'm going to get a little bit of, like a day's early access to that. Too many things. Oh, there's a building up there too. Who's shooting at me? Don't mess with me. I've got a glowy axe. Oh, 
Trying to do the little parry stun, but... Didn't oh, well. At least he didn't hit me. I'm excited about Homeworld 3 this year. Homeworld 3. Crazy how time flies. Watch for six months before becoming a member, and you're the first uh, I became a member of on YouTube. Well, thanks, Stella. Appreciate that. Apparently, exclusivity was lifted uh, in May, so not having a PS5 isn't a big deal. Oh, for the uh, for Final Fantasy, you mean? Yeah. But like I said, I haven't I haven't played a Final Fantasy game, and I don't know how long. It's, it's definitely been a very long time. Way back in the day when I used to enjoy playing stuff like Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy and what have you. But I haven't done that in a very, very long time. Okay. <laughs> I'm bouncing around here. I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, let's go over to the west so we can get that quest knocked out there. Hey, Dragoon. Wee. Gonna take your better half out for Valentine's Day? Uh, I'm not sure what the plan is for Valentine's Day. We have uh, we have kids and difficulty getting people to watch them. <laughs> well, I mean, more so we only really need our younger one to watch, but. Our older one is uh, not all that interested in babysitting her. So I'm not sure what our plan is for, uh, for Valentine's Day, honestly. I know the big game's on Sunday, and I know what I'm doing then. <laughs> the flame touched face. Unforeseen. Humanity is ephemeral. Nothing but a brief moment in time. A breath long taken. The blink of an eye. Yet, despite their mortal nature, they have created fire. A flame of their own to brighten their impending dawn. That added four new spots on the map for me, because the few we had wasn't enough already. What's the question mark down there for? Don't even know what that's about. I think there's a salt mine or something there. Obelisk writing. Indeed, the obelisk shares the same markings as the ones we've studied in the Kindle Wastes. This indicates a formal writing system consisting of logograms and syllabary, validating my hypothesis. Certain lexigraphs are repeated, hinting at a thematic consensus. Alternatively, a limited vocabulary. However, I see unique designs compared to Eastern obelisks. A dialect? As per usual, I cannot decipher the language. I'm disappointed, but not surprised. Sounds to me like the older one needs to be responsible. Yeah, well, that's a whole other story. <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> Alright, so we knocked that out. There was another obelisk thing there. That's good. Netherton's there. Uh, where's my journal? Okay, I want to get the tanning thing so we can get that leather. Oh, we gotta think for the search for the Vuka relics. Researchers left Vuka relics at a flame sanctum in the Nomad Highlands. Search the location and retrieve the Vuka relics. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's go after the chaining station. I think I'll set that as the active one. And where's that on the map? Right there. Uh, I mean, I could probably go. This is probably the fastest way if I go here. I never ask my kids to babysit their siblings. The problem is the there's a four there's a four year age difference between the two of them. There's a certain amount of friction that it creates where the one decides that it's not they shouldn't have to listen to their older sibling, and the older sibling isn't particularly good at managing the younger sibling. <laughs> so Uh, all right. Frozen core wand. I don't need because I already got a wand. These are all these are all going to be under level items anyway, so there's no point point keeping any of these. But to provide some nice rune fodder, I guess. Uh, I also don't really need these flint arrows. Ooh, although 
I did see there was something I could craft here that's like a flare arrow. Not with you. Anytime. Special arrows. A flare arrow. With uh, some wood acid, I can make flare arrows out of these uh, flint arrows. Let's do that. Wait, did I have wood acid in here? I had it somewhere. I haven't tried the flare arrows. I'm curious how well they work. Special arrows. That back there. Whip. Ooh, whip. Okay, so we got flare arrows equipped. I want to see what this looks like. So I gather it just, it shoots the arrow out and then wherever it sticks, it will have like a flare burning. So like if I shoot one over here at this beehive. That works pretty good actually. I wonder how long that'll burn for. That's a decent amount of light. Kids aren't made of hopes and dreams, just made from them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need Mrs. Doubtfire as a sitter. Oh, now, deity. All right, that actually burns for a pretty decent amount of time. Uh, those are kind of cool. I like that. Let's go put some other stuff away, and then we'll get back out there. Good for caves. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's often kind of a pain having to, like, bust out a torch and things. And then like constantly like swapping weapons. Uh, okay, I do have room in there for that. I guess I'll just stick middle plates in here because I don't think I have those anywhere else in here. Wait, where'd my... Where'd my fossil arrows go? <laughs> oh, there they are. I had some in a chest already, so it, like, stashed them away on me. I was like, oh, wait a minute, I'm confused. Uh, I heard a rooster already, so there's probably no point sleeping, but... <laughs> Move the time a tiny bit. Cut down the tree, does it stay lit on the ground? It'll actually stay lit in the air, I think, because uh, there's no gravity that way in this game. Well, it's out now, so that, you know, definitely has a defined limit. Oh, God. Come here, bees. Bees! Suck it, bees. Oh, I gotta fix my equipment before we go, too. I'm gonna need a cartography table. Uh, oh, I don't need that stuff. Whatever, we'll stick them in here. I'm sure it's fine. By the way, a great tips video! Don't let up. You were decent. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't do as many like tutorial style videos anymore. But I did find that um, I'm in the, the the forum for um, for the game also, and I did notice that there were a number of questions that came up with some some consistency. And then when I popped in on other people's streams when they're playing, similar kind of things. So I thought it would be good to put a little, just a short little tip video. If you haven't seen it yet, that's on the channel right now. It went live today around like 4.30 Eastern. Uh, Alright, so we're going over here. We need a tanning station. Oh, got a southern caravan thing down there too. Traveling fast. I never played the God of War games. I did get God of War and I started playing it 
Um, I didn't get super duper into it. Um, we streamed it, I think, once. And then I didn't really... I don't know. I didn't, I didn't feel grabbed enough to, like, dive in and play a whole bunch more. Maybe I'm weird. I don't know. I know people love those games. But I think I, I might have been distracted by, like, trying to do other things that I had to do. I have this bad habit where if I put a game down for a while, I have a very hard time picking it back up again. Uh, I don't know why I'm coming down here. There's, uh... Oh, it's actually farther to the right. The Southern Caravan. Oh, actually, it's probably that uh, that big brawler guy I already killed. It's probably what this is about. Because there's all their wagons down here all smashed to smithereens. They all went kablooey. Let's see, journal. Southern Caravan. I don't know which, uh, which quest it is, but it's probably about killing this guy. Hey, friend, I need another head for my collection. I actually already have his head, but don't tell him that. He doesn't need that. Ow. That was rude. to get my food buffs in. This is like a Dark Souls fight. Just keep circling. Just keep circling. Only not as intense. Right, this is where we got the axe from. Now I got two of them. <laughs> Same axe, just not upgraded. That's fun. So why is there still a question mark there, though? I do not know what quest that is. Not the obelisk research. Pillars of creation. It's gotta be this. Research uh, left the VUCA, whatever, whatever. Show on the map. Yeah, it's gotta be that. Something about relics here. Not those things. I have to dig up the mud. Be cool if he allowed you to mount extra heads on the wall. You can actually. There's uh, there is a mounting system for them. You just build a little decoration and stick their head on the wall. I don't even know if those warriors' heads are useful for anything. Some of the other boss things you kill, you end up using the heads to upgrade your your uh, flame altar. But those guys, I don't know. All right. Researchers left Vuka relics at the Flame Sanctum of the Nomad Highlands. Search the location to retrieve the Vuka relics. But well, the Flame Sanctum's up top, though. It's up there. Ah, oh, dang it. All right, hold on. So it wasn't showing the question mark. It was showing the uh, showing the flame thing. Oh yeah, buffs too. 
We'll get those. I'm looking forward to making some food recipes that have a longer duration. Because the, uh, the short duration of these things is kind of rough. I have a memory like a sieve, so like remembering to keep eating the food and keep the buffs up is like beyond me. <laughs> hey Roy, how you doing? Happy, what is it, Tuesday? Happy Tuesday. There's no bug with this quest. If not done in proper order, the icon will not clear for the map. Devs uh, will fix it at some point. Ah, oh, okay. So, I thought I had gone, I, I know I had gone in this flame sanctum already. Maybe I already did the quest and I just didn't do it in the right order and so it's not gonna clear it out. Hey, it's that Nate guy. Welcome anyone joining from Nate's stream. Thanks for the raid, buddy. You know what I didn't realize up until this point is you can loot these flame things multiple times. I already looted that thing before, twice. <laughs> looted that thing twice before this. That's the third time. Hey, oh. Yeah, I think I got the relics that were in here already, because there's, like, nothing here. Um, so I'm guessing that quest is not going to go away. Retrieve the VUCA relics. Search the location. Okay. Well, whatever. VUCA encounter. We learned that a group of people suffered from a VUCA ambush. One of them dropped a weapon. VUCA must have taken the loot to a nearby camp. Where's that one? All right, we can do that one. Let's go there. We can just fly over there. Fly, you fools! You and Nate seem like you're from Toronto. Well, we're from the Southern Ontario area. Not Toronto, though. Not far from Toronto. Guys seem to be playing this duo. We, uh, we do uh, occasionally play games together. Uh, but he's got his own crew of people that he plays games with a lot, too. So they've, uh, they actually just started playing this uh, today. Steven was streaming it earlier. Oh, chickens with the helmets on. Come back, sneaky chickens. Oh, wait, I've still got the flares armed. <laughs> I should probably change that. Oh. Come here, chicken. Lord. Oh my god, just stop running, you stupid chicken! Okay, I gotta change my arrows, hold on. Uh, change to these. Now he died way up there where I can't get his body. <laughs> oh, that stupid chicken! I can't even. Can't even loot it now. I killed it too high up on the wall. Rotten chicken. I need the feathers. I was after the chicken meat the other day, but I because I wanted to make that chicken soup. But uh, what I actually needed are the feathers because they're those are useful for those fossilized bone arrowhead thing of a bombers. Don't come on, chicken. Oh, 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 can't stop me. Okay. Yeah, suck it, chicken. All right, I got it. <laughs> Thought he had me beat. Oh, hey, buddy. Ember's here. I guess I woke him up. I must have been too noisy. Hold on, buddy. Don't get your butt in my face. I don't need your butt in my face. Okay, I'm going on. There's our cat cam. Boop. But he's kind of like... Dude, you're, you're not really in the camera. There you go. Cat cam for the win! <gasps> yeah, hi, buddy. My face. There's tumbleweeds out here now. I don't remember seeing those. I think there was something in the patch notes about the tumbleweeds. They felt compelled to improve them or something. I don't know. Oh my god, settle down. He's all excited. 
He's a he's a furry Oreo, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> he's more like the cat who ate like a bil like a billion Oreos, so he's a little on the little on the hefty side. He's well fed. Game of the Mountains in this game reminds me of Skyrim. Well, there's certain spots where you can just hop up like I did there that uh, there it's a little bit wacky. Um, but in a lot of places, it's not it's not normally that easy. Okay, I don't know. What, there's got to be like this must be in a little hollow over here. Oh no, wait, there it is. Ooh, what's this? Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh, cat! He stepped on my headphone cord. <laughs> Flame shine. How you doing, buddy? Hey. He's a double stuffed cat. That's right. He's a double stuffed Oreo. <laughs> this is Timber. We've had him for uh, I want to say seven or eight years now. Oh, you got like slobber on your collar or something. What's up with that? Boop. Cleaned bandages. That's way better than the dirty ones. Well, fed kitty means an obedient slave to feed him or her. Yeah, exactly. Our cats, uh, our cats aren't trained. They trained us. <laughs> oh, rats! Get him, Timber. He's supposed to be a mouser or something. Oh, the white tail ring? Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> he's a good cat, except when he's irritated and he pees on stuff. That's super annoying. This is the same desk that I work my day job on. I have, like, a laptop here that I use for work. And, uh, oh, there's a well here. Um... So he'll come and jump up when I'm trying to work sometimes, too. It's really hard to do spreadsheets when he's trying to lay on my keyboard. It's not so bad when I'm streaming, but... It's only, like, mildly irritating when I'm streaming. <laughs> hey, buddy. Ow. He's doing a very good job keeping these rats out of here, cat. All right, so super chat. Timber sure seems to like you. Yeah, for some reason. I don't know why. So, I probably told this story before, but years ago, after we'd gotten the house, we didn't have any pets, and uh, my wife has always had cats. And so she's like, "I really want to get a, I really want to get a pet for the kids. Let's, we need to get a cat." I was like, "We don't need a cat. I don't want to deal with kitty litter and cat fur everywhere and all that stuff." I was like, "Absolutely not. There's no way we're getting a cat." So we went ahead and got a cat, and then. <laughs> She's like, I want another cat. No, 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 then it was, I want a dog. And I was like, oh, God, I know, I love dogs, but I don't know if I want to own a dog, because, you know, there's a lot of responsibility, and, you know, kennels and stuff if you're going to go away, and there's all the dog hair, and, you know, I don't, I don't, let's, we're not going to get a dog. We're not getting a dog. <clears throat> so we got a dog. <laughs> and then... And she's like, I want another cat. And I was like, we really don't need another cat. We already have two animals. This is crazy. Forget it. We're not getting another cat. I'm putting my foot down. No more animals. So naturally, we got a cat. Uh, so now we have two cats. <laughs> and funny enough, the second one, like, uh, what are they? I don't know what they call it. Like, bonded or attached to me or whatever it is. Imprinted on me. I don't know what the deal is. But she's like, like she's in love with me. She's like, my, my wife keeps calling her my second wife or something. It's kind of weird. So, th so then we ended up with two hamsters um, <laughs> that they only survived like a year and a half or something apiece. And then after the hamsters, my wife was like, "Oh, I found sage." Uh, my wife was like, "I really want another dog. I, I, just, I, I love dogs, and I really want another dog." And I was like, "Oh my god, no! We have too many animals. Absolutely not. No more animals in this house. I'm the man of this house. I'm putting my foot down. No more animals." So we got another dog. And so now, now, now we have two dogs and two cats. <laughs> and as you can see, I'm still I'm still the, the man of this house. <laughs> oh, this guy's a 
guys are unfriendly. Probably should eat some buffy things. Ow! Jeez! Oh, sorry, Timber. <laughs> oh my god, it's, it's killing me. It's things killing me. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Go, go, go! I don't know if it'll attack them or if it only focuses on me, but... Nope, they don't attack those guys. That's great. Eight cats, two little dogs, two freeloaders in the garage. Oh my goodness. You got like a whole menagerie going on there. Ow! Oh god. These guys hit hard, man. I think I can hear him purring. <laughs> He's like really loud tonight. Evil cat's dead. Man, I don't know why he's so loud tonight. That's crazy. Ah, <laughs> oh, the stun these things give me is just not fun. Okay, <laughs> I could have gone a whole lot smoother. I think. Who put the hole in the ground? Was it the lightning spell? Holy cow, I think the lightning spell was actually damaging the ground. That's crazy. Jamar, the guy needed the apartment. Yeah. Every time he put his foot down, he always gets another animal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> This goes to show how uh, how much weight my opinion carries. <laughs> I'm not sure if he blew. Oh, he fell. Oh, that's that thing still making the hole. That's crazy. Your loot. Okay, so this is the VUCA camp. Oh, don't step on the pit trap. Third cat, third dog, third baby to match. Nice, Jay June. <laughs> ah, I love animals. It's just there's uh, there's a lot involved in having a pet. In particular, the. Uh, uh, I'll never get over the amount of, like, animal hair I have on literally everything that I own. <laughs> my, my shirt right now is just plastered in my favorite throat. Tan hides? Are there tan hides there as opposed to just uh, regular hides? Hold on, where are they? That's just animal fur. Same as all the other animal fur. A little chicken on a drying rack there or something. quest that I was coming out here. Something from the expedition or whatever? 
<clears throat> One of them dropped a weapon. The Buku must have taken it to a nearby camp. Okay, so there's a weapon here somewhere I gotta get. Mace. Not that I don't already have a better weapon. We'll see. I can find it anyway. Back. Where did they hide it? Oh, wait, here it is. <laughs> I can't reach it. There we go. There it is, Wolf's Hydra, level 18, 37 damage. Where's the 41 that I have now? Upgrade three times, so it'd be about the equivalent of the, uh, the axe that I'm using right now. Jacket skins. Uh, well, there's other other animal skins we're getting, but there's chicken chunks we're getting here. Pieces of delectable chicken. Oh, there's the almanac of the plants there, and the tanning thing right here. Oh man, they're like both both like right here. That's sweet. <sighs> Except there's a big mountain in my way. Didn't count on that. See if we can go around. They're hanging on the racks. Yeah, I grabbed those, but it was just uh, just an animal fur. Nothing special that way. Another one of those dens down here. If we wanted to collect some sticks, I think we're okay stick wise though. Sage leaves. I wonder what the sage will be used for. Better tasting herb can be found in dry areas. It's said to have enlightening abilities. Plus four spirit. The spirit effect magic regeneration. <laughs> I'm very curious what's down there, but I also don't want to just drop down a mystery hole that I don't know how to get out of. Yet, I'm super curious. I don't know. I already came all the way over this way to get this stuff. I probably should get these things first. May help mana regen? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, I could probably just... Oh. What was that for time? I was about to go into my inventory to look. Oh, the stun on these things. It was blocking. Oh, my God. It's so hard. There we go. Those cats are mean, man. Uh, attributes. What do we got here? Spirit. Why is it showing my bow instead of like showing me the spirit? What does the spirit do? I think that's a bug. Oh wait, spirit. Three. Increases mana by 20 points per attribute. Okay, so it increases your total mana pool. Very nice. I gotta plant some, some uh, sugar cane back at our, our little house too. Now that I've got some fossilized bone. Ooh, that was close. Didn't even know he was there. Hey, Jason, how you doing? Don't worry, there's an elevator to the bottom. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You're the dog. You were being so quiet. Heard another one of those cats. Ooh, I see you. 
Oh, they're so fast. I'm trying to dodge. I should probably just block. Let them smack into the shield. Get some sage for the farm, man. Thinking about buying this game, just been worried that it'll be too short of a game, like Small End or others like it. Um, yeah, I guess, I mean, it depends on how much you want to do in the game. Um, you could probably rush through the content faster than what I've been doing, because I enjoy the building and exploring, so... As we explore different areas and read the lore in the game, it adds different points of interest to the map that you could then go seek out. Uh, and that certainly added a lot, and then, you know, like, if you're, if you're into, like, all the building and stuff... It is early access, so I'm sure there'll be more content coming. It's just a question of like when and how much. Which I don't think is uh, necessarily clear yet. It is a fun game so far, though. Get rid of this little bug spawner. Oh, it's not even. These weird little patches of, like, shroud, just like in the middle of nowhere. And nothing of interest in them. Keep almost buying it? Oh yeah. <laughs> Enemies cap at half max level at the moment, too. Oh, are they? Because max level for us is 25. Is this the building I was already in? No. Another well. See level 30 enemies? I mean, the whole north isn't developed and neither is the west. This was the building I was in already. Um, the whole north and the west are not developed yet, so there's still TBD on what's going to be over there. Although the mountains off to the west, when you climb all the way up to the top of them, you run into deep snow where your character can't really run. Or at least it slows you down. I'm definitely interested to find out what what happens up there. Okay, I guess we gotta go up here. <laughs> I feel like this is the way down. <laughs> I guess, like I can't even make it do like the the trick hop up the slope. Max is about to bust. Yeah, we've got other uh, other stuff. Actually, I have an altar space available to me also. I have limestone, but I don't have regular stone. Not that it's hard to get. God, we have to get some regular stone so we can teleport back. Limestone. Okay, actually, it might actually be hard to get regular stone out here. I didn't really thought about that. It's all limestone. Oh, crap. Can't even see where I'm going. Oh, hey, guys. My torch, thank you very much. <clears> the <throat> only place I find regular stones is nodes you can pick up. Oh, out here in the plains. Uh, I wonder if can I buy these things? Do they give stone? Limestone. Okay, so oh, here we go. Perfect. 
I gotta grab one of these things. There you go, buddy. No more cat cam. He's wandering off. It's like I've had enough of your shenanigans. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Back to here. I have an axe my inventory, but it's not upgraded. And I could do with unloading and redo re-upping my buff and stuff anyway. The uh, the rested buff is so good. So good. Gotta have that rested buff going as much as we can, really. He's relocated to the top of our shelving unit over here. Alright, uh, we can grab the meat out of here. I'm gonna fix my stuff here. I wonder if I should keep this extra axe. Just as a spare. Cook up all that stuff. I've got. Yeah, I, I really. Do, I've, got, I've said it like a million times, and I'm going to say it again. But I need to do a little bit of different organization here because I, I, I'm finding that. Um, uh, my chests are getting crowded with stacks of things now. I've been playing long enough. Where to put stuff? You know, I might actually... Let's upgrade that axe. We'll keep that as a spare in my inventory. The uh, the patch made it so that we can upgrade now without having the runes in our inventory, which is nice. It'll just take them from the chest, so that's good. Never let the cold. Play to stay until pumpkin weather. Good to have extra supplies. Yeah, yeah. That'll do, I guess. Sucks up inventory spots, but yeah, whatever. There's not really all that much that I need to collect necessarily now. Aside from like when we find new materials. Hey, with the super chat, seems the axe swings ridiculously fast. Am I wrong? Uh, it is pretty quick. This is a pretty fast axe. It doesn't have like a numerical rating for the swing, but what I've noticed is that the sword swing is slower than the mace, and I think it's also slower than the axe. But I don't have a, a sword I can compare it with at the moment. Organization much? <laughs> I have some stuff ordered, but a lot of a lot of it not. Mostly because I, I I don't know I don't really need it to be, but it would be easier for putting things away if I knew where it was. <clears throat> All right, let's port back over here. Where did I put my? There it is. Yeah, early access TM. Yeah. Maybe can't do wield them. Oh, that would be really something. If you could do wield the axes, that'd be sweet. Particularly since they they attack so fast. I'm gonna extinguish the flame just so that I keep that uh, altar spot open. I can put it down somewhere else. Down to my last spot right now. Ooh, sunrise. It's something I never see in real life. Raven's Keep. The question mark thing went away. So there must be a piece of lore here we'll have to read that'll... ...probably redirect us to another spot. Come on. Oh my god, let me up! I never get to backstab things. At least very rarely. Are you joking right now? Oh, I don't know. 
nightmare. <laughs> I was like, why can't I sneak attack? I didn't have a weapon in hand. We got a berserker over there. Oh, there's a repair anvil in here too. I would like to kill this wolf without it seeing me if possible. I think something already saw me. He saw me. <laughs> hey, buddy. Ow, oh, that sucks. I could really do with a bump. crazy I used like Ooh, I got an acid cleaver off him I haven't seen one of those drop yet that's fun don't worry this spot is easy except for them yeah <laughs> uh, that's the first time I've seen the acid cleaver drop that's cool cutting and poison cleaver coated with acid and bile its victims can mend the bleeding but rarely stop the toxins from spreading that's cool it's a shame it's not like, uh... Uh, it's not like an upgraded kind of thing. What does it look like when I'm using it? Oh, it's got a nice attack pattern. Looks cool. <laughs> yeah, he did open a can. It's alright though, we drank it. We didn't let it go to waste. That's how that works, right? <laughs> nice to have a little anvil there to fix my stuff. More of those bronze arrows. We here. Ravens keep log. Day 147. Number of inmates 53. Another revolt today. Inmate Looper riles them up. Spat into the quartermaster's face during lunch. Left a burn mark on his cheek. Ground is closer. Uh, is creeping closer. Don't know how much longer the guards want to stick around if this abuse continues. Well, I mean, if they spit on you and leave burn marks, that's probably not a good sign. Team Targ Bow, That's, that won't be better than the one I already have, I don't think. Guess we gotta go inside. I'm on the fire. <laughs> This is cool. Sweet in here. Someone said aim the bow and use the scroll wheel to switch arrows. Oh, can you? Ah! Oh, I'm so dumb. I don't know why I haven't been doing that all this time. I are smart. I 
Only this murderist. Oh, jeez. He died. That's much gooder. It's way better gooder. Flip the switch. Could have literally gone out the hole in the wall. <laughs> Why is this guy in here with it already boarded up? Just stay in there forever? He's like, don't worry about me, guys. I'll stay here. Just go ahead and nail it shut. Oh, he was in here with his friend. He wasn't alone. That would have been tragic. Wouldn't want the poor guy left alone in here. Can't do what you don't know. I, I feel like I did know that at one point and then I forgot. That's okay though. To err is human, to make a multitude of mistakes is Cryptic Fox. No way you can ever loot those little oven things. Arrow guy down there saw me already, I think. Yep. <laughs> getting involved. Poor little wolf broke his brain. I was so angered, all he did was help get them out of a boarded up- I know, right? They just- I broke the board room their doorway down and they came rushing out and tried to kill me. Just zero, zero appreciation for a good Samaritan. No better than us. We're all alone in this desolate hole. They just left us to rot in the cells. Hope they all choke on dust. Me too. Me. I said I was innocent. Uh, there'd be chaos without her. They'd call her the Matron Lupa. Even the rowdiest of rats whimper when she steps near. She spews when she speaks. Liquid leaks from her lips, acidic and vile. Always a hint of ethanol in the air. He has a plan. There's no breaking through the gate, but hollow walls, she says. A cavern behind her cell. She's got help from outside. A sister, I hear. Perhaps we could break through. Well, that sounds promising. Another one. Zero sense of appreciation from these guys. Where's my torch? There's a lootable in here. And Bob, the 26 month member message. How goes the addiction to this game? Oh, it's good and strong, my friend. Good and strong. I'm having a really good time with it. 
I really like the exploration. Building's fun and stuff, and the combat's fun, but uh, exploring around and finding neat things and cool looking buildings and stuff, that's where it's at. Glow over here like there's a chest or something. Yeah, there is. But that doesn't open, so there's probably a lever or something we'll hit at some point that'll open that door. Probably also sending enemies out too. Found it. Ooh, fancy stone blocks. Or building pieces. It's where these scavenger guys are just speaking Jabba the Hutt's language. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Uta Guta Solo. We up here. Oh, well, that would be the cell with the uh, the opening in the back. Oh, oh God! <laughs> Good luck, Perry. I'm gonna target him. So I can stay facing the right way here. Jeez, this. Yes. Oh, stamina problem. Stamina problem. Seven. Manage. God. You gotta have real problems with stamina right now. Okay. Time to go. <laughs> He can't jump, I don't think. He'll have to run around if he's gonna come down here at all. God dang. Those guys are mean. Like, real mean. Oh crap. These are pretty much the only enemies that uh, represent much of a challenge anymore. Those guys are, uh, those guys are tough. Very fast. And when you parry them, they don't stay stunned for very long. It's only like a moment. <laughs> yeah. But I was mostly worried about the stamina because I wanted to be able to run away and or block or counterattack or whatever. Okay, I guess the, uh... Only other thing to check out is in that cell across the way. I will reach you, Lupa. I could no longer wait. With bated breath, I traveled to Umber Hollow to confront the, contra the contractor. At knife point, he told me that you'd escape uh, out of the frying pan and into the fire. He said you'd been arrested and locked up in Raven's Keep. Do not worry. His throat is slit. It's body cold. He won't bother our family again. They all wither and die the same, mirrored pieces of the same puzzle. Raven's Keep cannot hold you, sister. I will set you free. Stay sharp and ready for my rescue. Shall have our revenge and unite this land. By your side, Kendall. Is that the sister? Lupa's Scalper. Melee weapon, level 18. Huh. Last updated. Need of a tanning station. Alright. Uh, so this thing... Would upgrade four times, so again, it'd be like... I just want to see how this thing attacks. I haven't used one of these. Huh. It's definitely slower than the axes, which is kind of weird when you think about it. Copper in here. <laughs> it 
Seems to be a dead end there. Fancy stone block is your favorite of all of them. Yeah, it does look cool. I uh, was looking forward to getting some different stone blocks. Because I've still just had the rough stone block that I have most of my base built out of. Or the lower level of it anyway. So it'll be nice to be able to swap that out for some fancier looking ones. I'm going to try to sneak up on them, but there's two of them. So I guess I'll just shoot them. Jeez. <laughs> Good range on that. I could have backstabbed that guy after he turned around on me or like snuck did the sneak attack on him. Even though he technically knew I was there, it looked like he was resetting. Lots of copper. Hey, but hey, GG Luna. I figure it can't hurt to take a little bit of copper with us. Why aren't you breaking things in this new place? You know, that's a good question. I probably should be. Oh, there's a chest right there, too. I didn't see. Probably should be. There might be new. Uh, there might be new materials. Night boots. Minus ninety stamina regeneration delay. How do those compare to what I'm wearing right now? I have adventurer boots on. They give me plus two health regeneration, but this is uh, boosted stamina regeneration and a faster reset. That's pretty good. Put those on. Okay, that really does not fit the outfit at all. <laughs> Looks like ridiculous on me. All right, well, whatever. It's the buff I like anyway. I don't even know what I can smash here. That's gonna have any stuff in it, like barrels or boxes or something. This little cage things. Oh. These are A ladder going nowhere. I guess that's for the bunk beds. We ain't found nothing. Wasn't even poop in the chamber pot. Yoga pants. Looks like nothing new or fancy here. Uh, let's take a quick peek down here first. Did someone say poop? Nate? Uh, I don't think Nate's here right now. <laughs> he dropped it for a moment, but it was uh, at the end of his stream, so I imagine he's probably off to, off to sleep or whatever now. Good thing I kept that back of backs. Nope, nothing new. That's all right. Let's see what this has in store for us. Alright, this is the top of that dirt slide. Glory to Matron Lupa! We broke through the wall. Lupa simply blew the stone apart. Behind the rubble, there really was a cave. 
We flung ourselves right into a group of Vuka, but the matron and her blighted rampage, she nearly skinned them alive. She tames all beasts. They cower and flinch in front of her infamy. We won't stop her. We'll claim the world. Raven's Keep is just the beginning. Lupa's sister will take Surat's rest while we build a lair of our own to eclipse Umber Hollow. Glory to Matron Lupa. But we got Lupa's fancy weapon, whatever that's about. Spider-Man now. Okay, so where did that redirect me to? Because I didn't get the tanning thing. All my neck of seeds and plants. Tanning station, set active quest, and show on the map. Oh. Oh no. Oh, it's way in that in the Umber Hollow, of course. Over in the the deep. Uh, the deep shroud. Oh, this I already got. Yeah, okay. Took a fancy way to get there. Sakari with a super chat. Late game, mark gold chest on map to farm 20 plus gear. Oh, wait, that, what, the one inside the, uh... Nah, I'm probably not gonna do farming, honestly. Well, I mean, that thing was only level 18, so... Probably not what I want to mark right now anyway, right? Literally just got the tanning rack? Oh, nice. That's what we're working on today. Um, the Almanac of Seeds and Plants is right here. I'm gonna go after that one first. Because, theoretically, it's closer. Heavy on the theoretically. Flame altar there. Oh no, this is a save point. Plenty of gear around if you're a decent player. Yeah, I mean I'm kind of scr like scounging all over the place anyway, so I don't know. We'll find things. Stuff to be discovered. Weapons can wear on this game. Well, they 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 wear down and they just repair them. So, like, I've got this axe here that just broke, but I had the exact same one already because I killed the same enemy a second time. A little camp down there, but that's not where I need to go. It's over here somewhere. These boots are noisier to run with than the ones I was wearing. There it is. Snugged wolves. Ooh, gold chest. Shepherd's Lightning, level 16. To my beloved queen, your skin tinted olive brown, stunning and soft, your voice a roar, a hush, always a sweet sonnet on your lips. My heart blossoms at the sight of you. I want to want to walk I want to walk alongside you to see your footsteps next to mine in the sand, to feel the desert wind and to dance with you in my arms. It's all I hope for, Emily. Smoke on the horizon. A blazing fire dances atop the rooftops of Surat's Rest. We were too late. We came from Raven's Keep, escaped. Now Surat's Rest is a pyre of madness. I tremble at the sight. What would Mother do? She'd move before the sun rose, leave all baggage behind, swift and silent, carried by the wind. The road to Long Keep is a treacherous one. We must go. Glory to Pike Mead. Bless the ancients. Yasmina. Yeah, just in time for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Alright, we'll throw a, uh... 
No. This is not doing what I want it to. Where's the... I want to put a marker on here. How far away do I have to... Ah, oh, you gotta be pretty far away to put a marker. You can't put it, like, right on the thing. Green treasure loots. It's not only 20 plus loot, though. There's nothing here. You'd think Queen Jasmini would travel with style. Some class, yes? Some luxury? Some elixir, right? Nothing. Just paints and pillows. Pah! At least I found an almanac of plants and seedlings in Jasmina's tent. I'll just pretend as though there wasn't any other loot if Simon asks. Hope I can find him. Keen-eyed, that guy. Other than my private little treasures, there's barely anything for Surratt's rest. Except the dried yucca fruit, maybe. Don't tell Matron Kendall. They're mine, too. Okay, so again, we gotta move on farther. There's traps here, just for the record. Okay. Show that one on the map. Oh! Somewhere in this space, huh? Okay. I got them both, I guess. What stone do I get for this? Limestone? Yeah. I should probably get some stones over here. We'll go back and reset my stuff, repair my things, unload my equipment. That's just fiber. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. What the average playtime is? Some have said 100 hours, but it doesn't seem so. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I guess it depends on what you end up doing in the game. Like I said, you could probably rush through the story or like the key stuff in the game fairly quickly. I'm apparently at 41 hours right now, so far. Um. So I guess if you, if you spend a whole bunch of time building, like if you made multiple bases and stuff, uh, and you tried to, like, get all of the roots and find all the different pieces and like, explore all the different areas. Yeah, it might take a hundred hours. And caravan. caravan journey. Came here with a caravan from the faraway Kindle Waste. We were led by Jasmina, daughter of the late Queen Pikemead. I'd have followed her anywhere. I guess so. It was your love letter we found. But in the end, she left. The ancients foresaw a different paths for us. I wish they hadn't. I'd give anything to walk beside her once more. Lies. Oh, lies. It's interesting. Normally the chat, um, the chat options go away after you have the conversation with them. I'm surprised that one stayed. Interesting. Speed run probably wouldn't run very long, but plenty more if you loot. Yeah, exactly. Like, if you try to, like, if you, if you enjoy the game and you get what you can out of it, it probably takes longer. Alright, I'm gonna, uh, scrap this thing. Uh, we can scrap this thing. This I don't need anymore. We delete those. I'm gonna hang on to that cleaver. It's, uh... I'm probably never gonna use it, but it's just kind of cool. I want it. my little... For some reason these things didn't combine when I hit the button. Oh my gosh, so many things in here. Store those in there. Almost out of copper arrows, finally. 
The flame in your pocket makes you smoking hot. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> the hottest. Makes it hard to keep your pants up though. They're always burning up. You ever tried plugging up the wells after defeating them? What do you mean by plugging up the wells? You mean like putting down a, uh, a flame altar where the um, um, where the elixir wells are? Because they, like they they just keep coming back over and over again. I don't I don't know what would happen if you put a flame altar down, but there's too many of them. I think you you wouldn't really be able to do all of them anyway. Like the maximum number of flame altars you can have is eight, and I'm pretty sure there's more than eight of the. Uh, of the elixir wells. Oh, we have skill points I could spend too. Maximum shroud time increased by two minutes allowing you to explore. I'm gonna take that. Hold on to my other point for now. A fancy sunrise out here. Oh, that looks promising. <laughs> I really kind of want to go exploring down there, but again, I'm very concerned that I would have a hard time getting out. Mind you, there's probably an elixir well down there to be to be killed. Just do it. <laughs> well, because I'm going after like particular items, I'm, I'm gonna try to get the items first before I jump down there. But, like right now, we're trying to get the um, the seed guide or whatever, and then the tanning thing is the other thing. Why can't I move the map? What's going on here? Rotten cats again. Saber tooth, son of a guns. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot to get rid of the, uh, Flame altar I put down. Hit your break, but you going into the shroud for that quest? I assumed I would be, yeah. Alright. Just want to know where, you know? I don't want to leave myself stranded without the ability to build another uh, flame altar. Try covering the elixir wells with dirt? Well, it just, uh, the thing is, um, anything that's not inside the space of your flame altar will reset. Anything you've built, anything you've dug up, you can't even put dirt on it until you, like, put a flame altar down. And then if you pick the flame altar back up again, that stuff will despawn. Like, not instantly, but, like, later on when the world resets, whatever you had there will disappear with it. So you can't really stop them from coming back. I'm going there. Surat's rest. That should be fun. I have a feeling this might be a bit of a town, so I'm gonna try to um I'm gonna put my uh my flame altar out here. So that if I have the option I can I can teleport out and then come back.
Not that I need to do right now, but I'm just thinking like if I'm like somewhere in the town and I want to, I'd like to like jump out and repair or unload inventory, whatever. Oh, I'm shooting flame arrows. Oh, crap. <laughs> There's my flare arrows just going to waste. Oh well. Very good thing I crafted those. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can look under the bridge in case there's like anything interesting down there we can do. It's interesting they got the scaffolding on the side. Oh man, you don't want to fall off of this bridge. doing underneath it. Good evening! Have you ever played Leisure Suit Larry? Darn right I have. Leisure Suit Larry in the land of the lounge lizards. <laughs> it's been a very long time. When I was a teenager, that game was all the rage. We kept hoping there would be nudity. There never was. Not that it was actually, the game wasn't exactly photorealistic anyway, but... You know, kids. the origin of the name Cryptic Fox. I'd like to say that it's something like super clever, but it really wasn't. Um, I had uh, another channel that I was, uh, when I first started out trying to do stuff on YouTube, and I had based it on like a, um, a, a name that I was always using when I was playing video games and stuff, but I wasn't really happy with it, and, and I wanted to rebrand, and so I decided to start a new channel focusing on, a, you know, some particular content. Um, you know, I was playing a game, and uh, I think it might have even been Minecraft at the time with my daughter. And my character was a fox, so I ended up just uh, coming up with like, oh my god, oh my god, just like played around with a bunch of different names that um, I could put together with the word fox to come up with something that I thought was interesting. And lo and behold, cryptic fox came about. So it was just like purely engineered for the purposes of like setting something up on YouTube. But I've been using this channel out for, I don't know, like nine or ten years. God, it's, it's scary to even think about. <laughs> anyway, it's been like nine or ten years, so uh, I just sort of stuck with it. Other games did have occasional duty in later ones, but usually it was an Easter egg. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I was back playing them on like a 386 computer, so it's... Uh... <laughs> Even if there was nudity, it would have just been like a square blob with a black pixel in the middle of it or something. It would have looked more like an eyeball than anything else. Oni? Well, actually, I started uh, I started this channel not with Oxygen Not Included, but with uh, a game called um, uh, Disney Infinity. So I, I played a whole bunch of Disney Disney Infinity. I've delisted it since then because of all the, like... Was uh, I came up with that thing like was the content created for kids and I didn't want to get the flagged as like kid content. So I got rid of that. But then after 
after playing Disney Infinity a bunch, I ended up, um, I got into the game Astroneer and uh, Subnautica when it was still in the beta. A few other games, and then along came Oxygen Not Included, and that, uh, that caught my interest, and I played a ton of that for years. Oh, boy. Bigger problem here isn't necessarily the green guy. I mean, he's a, he's a problem, but oh, the fact that I've got the green guy and this other guy, that's a problem. No, oh, that didn't work out as good as I thought it would. There we go. That didn't work either. <laughs> thought I could jump up on the roof. Oh, that's a good dog. Back off! Get your own cryptic. What? He stopped chasing me, that's weird. I mean, not that I'm complaining, but... Wait a minute, is he gonna give me a chance to, like, sneak attack him? For some reason he reset. After I blew up that barrel. Haha. Uh -huh. I can't get greedy. Two hits is the most I can I can go for. There we go. That was a funny reset. Why don't I use a shield? I actually have a shield equipped. Uh, it, there's a there's a particular bug with this weapon that uh, when I'm when I'm using it, you can't see it. But this is the shield I have. I have the flame shield equipped right now. I don't know what it is with this particular axe, but it um, it won't show the shield when you have it equipped. It's not a bad shield, actually. Anything new we can find here? These look pretty empty, so probably not gonna get anything here. <laughs> Maybe we should try to find ones that are full. Axe looks too good to have the other things that shine it. Yeah, that must be what it is. That's that's what it is. Acid bite. If I was a, if I was a mage, that would be very handy. As I understand it, the acid bite spell makes this game kind of trivial in terms of like fighting bosses. It's almost be kind of a shame. If it's too easy, then it takes all the fun out of it. Oh, what are we here? It's just a sneaky way in. <laughs> I guess it is. Decided they can't chop his left arm off, so he dumped the shield. Yeah. He's got an invincible left arm. We can block swords, axes, whatever. Doesn't matter. I heard somebody shoot at me. At least I thought I did, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, one acid uh, bite, or sorry, acid bite one shots bosses. Yeah, that's just too, uh, that's too overpowered. That would take all the fun out of it. My the nursery supplies. Elias, please note that the crates marked nursery supplies are indeed filled with weapons for the contractor's rebel army. The guards hot on our tail have buried the goods and marked the spot. Can't risk anything these days. 
Several of them are packed with powerful explosives, so handle with extreme care. We don't want to reveal our hiding spot. Keep quiet, yeah? Might lose our heads for this one. Alright, so we got some fancy uh, nursery supplies. Wait, is it literally this camp right here? See him. Problem solved. Okay, I think it might actually be up above there. It's just strong cheese. <laughs> the which the acid bite? That's uh that's like exceptionally strong cheese. That's like the strongest of cheese from what I understand. But, I mean, if I did it, it wouldn't be cheese. It would be tactics. But if someone else does it, it's definitely cheese. <laughs> I don't really need this. Explosive Powerball Net. Funny, it's got three of them, but it only does four more damage than throwing one of these. I wonder why that is. I'm not out in the sunshine. Oh, none of that. <laughs> I the block button pushed down, but it didn't block any of it. Blocking? Blocking's for chumps. Oh, good. Repair anvil. Sweet. It's a fairly significant town. It's not as big as Pikemead's Reach, but scavenger loot. None can fool me! Thor came back from that scouting mission last night. He chucked this dusty bag with scrolls at me and said it's the only thing they could scavenge. You know that fool well enough to see when he's lying through his teeth? My old friend pocketed a treasure for himself, but I won't rat him out. Instead, we'll gift that almanac to the matron of, as a tribute. And the treasure? Well, Thor will have to share. Whatever he looted from Queen Jasmina's tomb, whatever. If you don't time that first block right, the whole, whole resume is just a mess. Uh, whatever you looted from Queen just means his tent will be stashed away at his favorite spot, I reckon. After all this time, he still hasn't found a better hiding place than the top of that old watchtower. Okay, we got a few loot spots around here. That's fun. in this game? <laughs> Probably not that Thor. Probably a different Thor. I've been collecting those flasks and then not using them too much. I probably should just like drink them every time I find one. It's like role-playing games where you store the potion until the very end, just in case you might need it. Yeah, there's so many buildings here. 
Oh, there's a dude. Die so often because he didn't want to waste potions. Yeah, 100%. Absolutely. Like, yeah, I might need this later. Not in the bathroom. I have a well at home, but I might as well snag this well over here. There seem to be more wells out here in the plains than there are anywhere else in the game. Okay, I want to go, uh... Oh, wait, what's... What's tracked here? I want to go up this hill over here and see if we can find whatever this is. Bomb on me. Wait for me, I'll continue to watch tomorrow. Alright, see you, Panthro. Thanks for dropping in. So, theoretically, that treasure is here somewhere. Some kind of supply. Oh, hey. Oh, it's gonna be that explosive I have to blow up there, I bet. <laughs> there it is. Forest Longbow, level 18. Come up this way. Oh well. I'd be a total nerd to build four wells. Yeah, I could build like. Well, I mean, I'm at the point now where I don't even use water as a buff anymore. The only thing I'm using water for now is crafting. But it's not too bad anymore. Keep it on top of the water. Oh, another one of those. That sucks.
Hey, what was this? Tribes of Surratt's Rest. Carlos, I've received your note in just in time, too. The patrols down here check every shipment thoroughly. The rumors of Umber Hollow you speak of are false. Just yesterday we held a funeral for a young girl who was murdered up there in Surratt's Rest. But I felt the same way when speaking with you in the market. Intrigued to find a common, decent person amidst all the crimes committed where you're from. Everything from racketeering to corrupt courts and police to widespread fraud. Perhaps we're both falling victim to decades of misspoken words. Are we not so alike, you and I? Sincerely, Emma. Not sure what all that's about. Do a lot of water for crafting seed and other products. Yeah, that uh, that's pretty much the what I've been using for the most lately. Even that's not even crazy though. Oh my god, these towns are huge, man. Where is that thing? I can't even see it. this supposed to go? Why did they put a climbing thing there? Ah. Oh. I see. this building is, but that's interesting. Like a guard tower or something. Oh, the rocks you see you dig through there might be something well which piles of rocks though I mean there's kind of a lot of them here rubble everywhere and you're right there might be stuff hidden underneath the rubble but I wonder if it's worth the amount of time it would take to just keep digging it all up yeah the chest that animation's a little weird with the chest like and it's lock pick when you start picking it it opens and then and then you start picking it <laughs> oh the rocks over there why didn't I think of that Okay, well, there's something in this little scavenger arena toward the back over here. Unless that's a little boss fight area. That would be unfortunate if I flew in there unknowingly. scavenger arena. Be dark soon. Man, 
darkness falls fast in this game. Oh, the gate doesn't open. <laughs> I jumped in here. Okay, now we got light problems. That was a bunch of poison from a matron. Oh, oh, oh god. She got me through the wall. <laughs> That's cheating. Well, well, well. I guess we can go back home now since we've already got our, we already popped all the way back out. We can go get our rested buff back. Yeah, she got me with wall hacks. <laughs> How'd she even know I was in there? Definitely, definitely hacking. Can see me through the wall. Saw me through the wall and killed me through it. That's uh, that's special. She's got all the magic powers. <laughs> no fair equals talk about cheese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she cheated, man. It's my job to cheat, not hers. I don't know why I ran outside. I didn't need to. Uh, all right, going back here. I'm very glad that I put down the uh, the flame altar there ahead of time. Seeing as how this uh, the enemies in this game are using wall hacks. At least we don't have to deal with nighttime. I guess there's that. Small victories or whatever. Oh, I already looted that, but reclose re the chest. Oh, that's cheating. He's gonna backstab me. Guess I made too much noise. Turns out I was a wee bit too noisy. After dying, do you lose all the loot you had? So you don't lose, um... Uh, items and equipment that you have in your inventory. It's just raw resources. Oh, you lose the raw resources you've collected. So if I had a bunch of lumber and rocks and stuff, that'll all be on my body. Uh, but your weapons, your armor, any loot you might have picked up that was like weapon or armor related, uh, ammo, all that kind of stuff, you still have. <laughs> nice town where it was, yeah. It was kind of cool looking until they wrecked it. see where I'm going at this point. Ooh, 
they were making booze in here. They got stills. And then whatever this is. Some giant grinder thing. Oh, you know what? This is probably where they were making the elixir. I guess that would make sense. It's the blue goop. It'd take forever to fix this place. Yeah, it would. It would be a bit of a, a bit of a job, wouldn't it? Plus, you'd have trouble claiming the whole thing in order to like make edits. Where was I when I got hit by that thing? I th oh, oh, those guys all just like spawned out of nowhere. Is my body in there? Okay, there she is. She just spawned in. That is so cheating. Am I hitting the? That, that can't be hitting her for one damage. That's there's no way. I gotta be hitting the uh I gotta be hitting the edge of the There we go. <laughs> that bomb is not terribly effective on those guys. deal with the ads at any point. Throwing pit juice at you? It's like a poison or whatever, but if she gets you with a solid hit of that, you're pretty much dead. It just, uh, does a crazy amount of damage. It apparently wasn't intended to do quite that much damage, and I thought they were tweaking it, but, uh, still killed me with one shot of it through the wall. It's like her, 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 her spit one is the one that does like the crazy damage. Maybe not the throw one. for her. This is resisted every time I shoot her. I wonder if I shoot the, the potions on her belt. No. What a boob shot. Nope. Doesn't do it either. Face it is, I guess. There we go. Just toast. All 
All right, that gets us the uh, almanac of plants and seedlings. We need that for the farmer lady. Let's get my uh, my corpse back so I can get my stuff. Yeah, so see all in here. Aside from the lockpicks, everything here is just like raw resources. Respect is the acid spell that one shots bosses. Oh, is that what that is? Okay, that that makes sense then. Cause that thing is vicious. Just vicious. So she throws those little potions and then she's got that crazy spit. Like she really hawks up a loogie. What's down here? Nothing? They have this cool landing down here? There's like nothing here? Bonfire and the killing fog. Gotta go for the limestone building cube. Uh, I mean, I've been, I'm not even sure where that is. It's all right. We'll get to it. So we've got a uh, caravan raid over there, somewhere up on top of the mountain there. It's almost like it was for a dock. Maybe there was, uh, maybe when there was still water in there <laughs> before the the shroud. Must be like a boat launch or a makeout point. <laughs> yeah, it's where all the couples couples go to get it on. Let's get it on. A note to Kendall, sister. Have my notes gone through to you? I missed you greatly this past year. That vile contractor tried to lock me up in the cellar in Jasper in Jasper Isles, but you were correct. Couldn't keep me shackled for long. I'm sorry, I've been out of touch, but I've been keeping my head down. Umbra Hollow isn't any better or worse than Surratt's Rest. Two sides of the same coin, like us. More bar fights, perhaps, but I can handle them. The Nomad Highlands are without order. One day we must eclipse this chaos, sister. What do you say, your sister Lupa? weird. <laughs> Got the upward gust even though it already landed. Watchtower very near me. Like up there? Oops. Ow. Maybe I can go up those towers. Again. I mean, it's not up here. Strange they price this game so low. It's much more game than many full price titles. Yeah, that's just the thing when you buy uh, a game from a, a more independent studio. You're not paying for the, the huge overhead that a company like EA has, for example, where they just gouge. Where they just gouge you for the game. These days, the best games aren't even the AAA games. They're all like all the uh, independent studio games. Not here. 
You talking about the tower that's over there? Because I didn't see a building block in there. I don't think. True, and there's no voice acting, which eats up a lot of money to pay for it. Yeah, that too. I mean, sometimes they will have voice acting, but they may not be paying the best actors. Uh, but just in general, like, they they can they, they can bootstrap the game a little bit. You know, they're focused on making core, solid gameplay as opposed to uh, trying to get, like, the, the flashiest graphics or whatever. I already came all the way up this tower. I didn't see a chests up here with a building block in it, I don't think. I popped this chest already. It didn't have a building piece in it. I don't know. Tunnel to the east? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, haven't, I haven't gone that that area yet. I was just headed over there when you sent me back this way. <laughs> yeah. Maybe second guess what I was doing, but that's where I was headed. Oh, man, nailed it and then rolled right off. always get me. Get smarter by the rats every time. Okay. Yeah, okay, we're going that way. drop off the nothingness on the other side. <laughs> supposed to be the way across? That's funky. I feel like this is supposed to be like a way back up, though. As opposed to the way down. Especially given the placement of that thing. you gotta go up. Yeah, it's okay. I figured it in. Yeah, that was definitely supposed to be the way back up there. Hello, what's over here? Oh, this one's not even a tower. It's just like a little decorative thing. God, stamina! <laughs> Come on! I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Whoops! I used to just having like boundless stamina there and I kind of never did it a little bit. Oh. Uh, well, this is a problem. 
There's a chest down there. Oh boy, that was that was a mistake. I hit the wrong button. Oh, I could have grappled right there. Oh. Yeah, well. <laughs> if I paid more attention when I was playing games. Okay, so is it the silver chest that's at the bottom down there? Because it's not up here. Gotta be that, that one at the bottom I saw. Huh. Nope, that's an executioner's axe. Maybe I gotta blow something up up there. Jeez, I got myself killed. <laughs> it's not that, though. That does some good destruction. It's an old watchtower under a roof. Shelf. Yep, secret door. Just explosives, though. <clears throat> Kerisa and Kerisa. Oh, look, I blew it open here anyway. <laughs> I don't know if I can go up any higher than this. Yeah, there's nothing on the very top. down below there's uh there's another structure down there Other roof, you say? Why are these rats so fast? I was trying to attack him, but it wouldn't let me. Oh, yeah, there is something up there. How the heck do I reach that one? Was going for the win. There it is, limestone block. Thank you. Found it. Oh, oh, there's a grapple thing there. Of course there is. 
<laughs> All by myself. Let's see help from anybody. Grats rest. Alright, we got all the good stuff from here. Unless there's like some random chest or something to be found. There's a tunnel down here. Where does this go? Changed my mind. I don't want to know. God dang. berries and get some healing back there. I found their garbage pit. Wouldn't it be funny if there was like a treasure chest in the bottom of that pit of crap? Yeah, I found their manure pile. A lot of little looks and crannies to search in that place. Craziness. Ow. Which I guess I don't really need to run all the way back this way. I'm gonna get rid of the uh, the flame over this here though. I don't need to come back to this particular spot. I think we got this lower area cleared. Aside from this stuff over here. Let's get rid of the, uh, the flame altar here. Hop back home so I can unload my stuff, repair things, reset my buff. This is the biggest city you've seen? No, uh, Pike's Mead is, uh, is pretty big. It's It's got all these little warrens of like rooms and buildings and tunnels and underground crypts and everything. It's, uh, I don't even think I searched the whole thing. I'm, I'm fairly certain I missed some stuff. Almanac return. My almanac of plants and seedlings. Wonderful. There's, there's a bit of dirt on it, but it's fine. I don't mind getting my hands dirty. Let's get to planting. Seriously, you're a farmer and you're complaining about dirt. That's not even a real thing. Ooh, if we make metal sheets, I can make the oven. Uh, gonna need some. Oh, there's some scrap metal there. There we go. It takes two per. You know what? I don't even. I don't need that many. That's a lot of metal sheets. Oh, is this an item I have to put down? Yes. There we go. Perfect. What did that unlock for me? Did that? Oh, that. Uh... Oh, hey, buddy. Share a man and a story. That probably unlocked a couple of recipes. Yeah, because now we can make the oven. Vegetable soup. Chicken soup. Mmm, chicken soup. Four constitution and one dexterity. So that probably is better than just the roasted meats at this point. There's a lot of ingredients, though. Don't overwork yourself. Strawberries have a slightly better health regen than the, which the uh, than the berries. Gotta get down timber. Because I just yeah I had some of these uh, these dried purple berries. They're only plus one health regen, so they they weren't exactly good. I was just using them up at this point. Um, let's get rid of the door. Oh my god, Timber. Look, buddy. I know we're friends and all, but... Sometimes we need a little time apart, you know, bud? We need a little, we need a little me time. <laughs> if 
probably turned out I didn't feed him again or something. How you doing, bud? Hey. Crazy cat. I got done again. And see the times five on the chicken soup. Uh, made a hundred of them. Oh, man. <laughs> That's a lot of chicken soup. I got a couple things here we can scrap, I guess. Hey, yoo -hoo, Big zone of blowouts. So this bow is level 18. That's level 20. Salvage. Oh my god, Timber. Buddy, you're awesome and all, but you're also kind of in the way. Meow. Meow. Chicken wings. We're gonna put my chicken wings. I thought I had the chicken wings already somewhere. Where'd they go. Oh, there they are, but they're already, it's already max stack. I guess max stack size for those is only 20. That's kind of a nuisance. Oh, and this guy's got more stuff for me now, too. Man, the quests just seem to keep cropping up in this. Every time I do something, I get like a half a dozen other things. Sun Temple Stories. I need the Kindle Waste. Best be on your guard. My aunt, uh, my auntie Ellen was cursed in one of them Sun Temples. Struck by this ghostly skull from below, she said, teeth chattering. Tis true. Well, most likely. You know, Ellen. Always a tell tale teller. But never a liar. This is Nemily from the Round the Kindle Waste. Maybe she knows. Bet she'd battle. Cool, get him. Haunted Sun Temples? Why, I live near one. It was awful. See, our temples are hallowed halls and burial sites honoring the ancients. The spark there is fed by prayer, and shields are dead from harm, but as the shroud spread, its light dulled. Maybe our faith wavered when the catacombs came alive. Metal clanks, dark whispers. I held my prayers inside the tavern ever since. So spooky. Farewell. Alright, more stuff to explore. Ah, uh, it is a little after midnight my time. I'm gonna have to, uh, call it a night, because I gotta get up for work in the morning. Good ol' work. Another beads work. But thanks everyone for coming to hang out tonight. I really appreciate it. At least we made some progress. We got the seed bag thing. Uh, we'll have to get the, the the leather tanning thing next time we play. We head back out there. But uh, thanks so much everyone. Appreciate the super chats and everything this evening as well. If you don't currently subscribe to the channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Come back and hang out with us again. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.